Hey guys, Melissa here from Girl Gone Fishing and look at me, I'm in a different boat today. Yeah, today I had the opportunity to get a demo boat from Strictly Sailing Kayak and got out here to uh, John Graves of John Graves Kayak Fishing, his place, and we're kind of trading off and trying some different kayaks. So I'm really excited. This is my first time ever being in one of the Old Town pedal kind of kayaks. This is the Old Town PDL 106 from their Sportsman series. So it's 10 foot, six inches long. 36 inches wide. It says it has an assembled weight of 107 pounds, but when we subtracted the weight of the other parts, it comes to about 83 pounds for what I'd have to load on my car. And uh, I think that might be doable, but I gotta tell you, I just got in this boat and I am super impressed with it. Um, I've always kind of been a, like a Hobie girl. I love the Hobie kayaks, but man, I started fishing in an Old Town uh, loom sit-in paddle kayak. I gotta say, this is just that same kind of old town quality I'd expect. I mean, super stable, super comfortable seat, and a whole lot of accessories. So come on over here and you can see everything it's got going for it. So it starts with a big front hatch. Check out this waterproof hatch. My little sit-in paddle kayak had one of these. It uh, pops off, waterproof. You can put your dry bag and stuff in there closes up. Here's the pedal stuff here. The cool thing about the Old Town pedals is they move in a bicycle motion. They go all the way around and they have an instant reverse. So forward, backward, you just pedal just like that. So that's really cool and it goes down and it powers a little propeller at the bottom. So that's how we make it move. But we've got the gear tracks on the side so that you can mount your accessories. John has his fish finder mounted here. It's got these cool little pockets. Can you see these? There's little pockets with mesh in here where you can put your soft plastics. He's got all his spike it dye. Gotta love that spike it dye. I like the pens because then you can't spill them and get dye everywhere. Not that I do that. Um, the seat's really adjustable. When I first got in here, I couldn't reach the pedals. And I thought, how are my feet gonna reach those pedals? But on this Old Town seat, you pull up the thing and it slides on this track. So if I have long legs, or I'm up here in part number one for the short legs, so I can reach those pedals like that. So you can adjust the backrest too, make it more upright. I prefer to sit upright. You can relax and chill just by pulling the straps. So we've got a good rudder on this boat. So rudder control on the left side. I've got molded in rod holders here. John was showing these off earlier. It's a forward facing rod holder. So you can put your rod there while you retie or have you ever tried to get the line to go up through the guides and the rods falling off the boat and it's a big pain. So if you put it in this forward facing rod holder, it just holds it there for you. But there's also molded in ones that go backwards and John's got the Yak Gadget cart, uh, crate here. So he's got his rod holders on the crate. Uh, same thing as I do on my links with the Hobie crate, but just a different, uh, different brand, different style. So your rods go right there in the rod holders, somewhere to hold your net, a um, little paddle holder. All right, let's try standing up. Oh man, that just couldn't have been easier. I mean, the seat's already elevated and this thing is so dang stable. I mean, there was not even any like rocking on this. I really like how easy it is to go from a seated position to a standard position on this kayak. It's like no effort at all. Okay, let's make this thing move. There we go. who knows how to ride a bicycle can make this thing go pretty fast and pretty easily. It's really that same movement as like if you had a recumbent bike, you know, one of those kind of sit down bikes. It's gonna run me into this corner. <laughs> so I've got my rudder control here, my pedals. Let's do some kayak donuts. Reverse. <laughs> that 
that instant pedal drive reverse has to be one of the like biggest selling points of this drive. The ability to just adjust your position. Like what if I was throwing a lure under some bushes and you want to just get a little closer and then oh the wind's pushing you so you back out just a little bit. Totally hands free. It's a definite plus for this kind of drive. If there was anywhere to go, you could walk around in here. It's that stable. I guess you could stand up on the seat. Should we see if that works? <laughs> Shall I put down your fishing pole first, John? <laughs> yes. Alright, you think it works? Oh, yeah, no problem. Woo! <laughs> How about that for a landing? <laughs> oh, so, except for the fact that it will fold in on itself, that worked pretty well. But in all in all, you got to admit, this thing didn't even rock during that whole thing, right? I really like this kayak. I mean, I had no idea that they were this, like this solid and comfortable, like, you and this kayak could go and battle together and it would look out for you and you'll look out for it and you know you're, you're a team and so i'm going to give this kayak high marks and uh i really recommend it go to strictly sailing kayak ask for one of these old town pdl 106 from the sportsman series and uh check one out for you thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one